Anyone ever ask you, what's your sign? This is a question that people have been throwing around a lot um, because they want to discover who you are. What's really important to know is that your sun sign or your astrological sign that people are most often referring to is the sun sign. It's the placement of where the sun was when you were born. Now, this is a really important concept to understand because the sun tends to be representative of the ego, but more so in traditional astrology, the health and the being of, of the individual. Another really important thing to remember is that the sun sign is just one component of the myriad of planets and points that make up an individual's personality. So I always say that when you're asking someone, what's your sun sign, you're really asking for the first sentence of an entire paragraph. So while it will give me a little bit of information, it won't tell me everything. And this is often times where you'll see people say, you know, I don't really sound like, um, you know, a Scorpio because I'm very gregarious and outgoing and open. But this can be because there's other positions and things that play a role in changing these things. So when someone asks you, what's your zodiac sign? It gives you a little bit about that person, but know that there's much more, much more complex uh, information we can get if we look at the chart as a whole. It seems to be more popular these days that people are not just looking at the sun sign anymore, but actually looking at three points. Usually they're referred to as the big three, your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign. These three components people today are putting a lot of emphasis on because they represent several different aspects of a personality. So number one, the sun represents the ego or the physical body of the individual. The moon represents your emotions, how you feel, your intuition, or the soul of the individual. And your rising sign is the way that you are perceived, the way people see you and experiencing you. This is the modern astrological interpretation. Uh, and this is what people often talk about. This will give us more levels and layers of who someone is. However, I'd like to offer you another important aspect to consider. Instead of just considering the rising sign as its own sort of sign or point, you should actually look at the ruler of the rising sign. So for example, if my uh, rising sign was Aries, I would want to look at the ruler of Aries, which is Mars, traditional. And so therefore, I look to where Mars is and what sign it's in. And that's actually going to tell me much more about an individual than if I were to just look at Aries as a sign. Because if my Mars was in a sign such as Taurus, for example, I may not be that outgoing outspoken, gregarious sort of personality. I might be a little bit more reserved, or I might be a little bit more pleasure seeking, or I might not have that sort of urge to make things happen and get things done. So it's really important for you not to just look at the rising sign, but also to look at the chart ruler or the ruler of the ascendant.